Here we have an Asus laptop that came in for no power. Big Boss already disassembled the board. And we're going to take a look at the board and see what's going on and why the board is not powering on. The model number of the laptop is Asus ROG GU542L. And the customer wrote, I have a laptop that I received secondhand that will not power on or indicate that it is charging. So no indication that the laptop is being charged and no power. Let's take a look at the board and see what's going on. We can start by looking at the DC connector right here. I want to measure the MOSFET, the drain of the MOSFET and diode mode. I want to see if we have a short. And if we measure here, we do. We have a short. Just like 90% of Asus laptops that we get in the shop here. What do we do when we have a short? We inject voltage. I'm going to connect my ground probe to one of the screw holes. And then I'm going to inject 1.5 volts. You can start with 1.2, but 1.5 does not hurt. I'm going to inject voltage right here. Then we're going to inspect the board under a thermal camera and see what gets hot. Hopefully we can fix this board in no time. Yesterday I mentioned that in a period of four hours and a half, we fixed 16 devices. We got emails from viewers asking, how do we do 16 devices in four hours? Because I do not spend the whole day working on one laptop. Let's see how long it will take to fix this one. When I fix it, I give it back to Big Boss to reassemble and test. And in the meantime, while fixing this, Big Boss will put two, three boards on my bench. So we are constantly working. Let's go under the microscope or under the thermal camera, not the microscope. We are done with the microscope. And I'm going to inject voltage at the drain of the MOSFET where we measured for a short. The voltage injection tool is drawing 3.14 amps at 1.5 volts. Wow. Something must get hot on the board. Because we are drawing 3.14. 14 amps. I'm not seeing anything hot on the board. What's going on? Oh, right there, right there, right there. Let me remove the probe. And you see how that heat spot disappeared? One more time. Right there, right here. Okay, got it. And I told you, let's see how long it will take to fix this board. And that's what I do with every board. 5 minutes next, 10 minutes next, 15 minutes next, 2 minutes next. And that's how we are able to get to a lot of devices in a day. I did not pinpoint where heat is coming from, but by looking at this area, we can tell that we have a hot spot right on the cap. Let's measure in diet mode and confirm that we have a short. Hello. Be right there. If we measure here. We have a short, and if we measure here, we have a short. So we know that we have a short on this area And just a minute. So for this one, I'm going to grab my hot tweezers to remove the cap. Just like that. And now we're going to have to test and see if we still have a short. Did we guess right? Or is it the cap next door? And we still have a short. We were wrong. Let me go to resistance mode. Measure here. Zero ohms. And we have zero ohms. We detected a spot on the cap and we immediately thought that cap is faulty based on the way it looks. But that's okay. No problemo, senor. Let's check under the thermal camera again while injecting voltage. Yeah, it's the cap right next to the one that we removed. This one right here. So let's remove this one. I mean, I can also use our atomizer to pinpoint which component is causing the short. But we do not have to. Do we still have a short? 
diode mode measure here no short and no short the short is gone we got it we're gonna have to replace two caps and we're done give it to big boss to reassemble and test and finish the video right now i have two ps5 boards and both of them are hiroshima's look at the hdmi connector here i do not know which one is worse this or this because both of them are a hiroshima so I put them on the side because I do not want to waste my time right now. I have a lot of other things that I can get done fast. And then maybe I'll work on those end of the day. But for now, I'm going to finish this board. Give it to Big Buster with some and test. And I have two other laptop motherboards on my bench. And then once I'm done with them, I have a couple of key fobs I need to work on. Then end of the day, I can work on either one of the PS5 boards. All right, let's grab two caps. And you can buy those caps off our site. Just log into northridgefix.com. You can actually buy everything. You can buy the caps, tweezers, flux, soldering station, hot air station, thermal cameras, microscope, grinding pan. Everything is in stock and everything ships out almost always same day. Let's grab two caps. That's one. And that's one. Let's apply some flux and make those caps look better than factory because flux is your friend. Awesome. We're done. Measure right here, no short. Measure right here, no short. 0 0.42 voltage drop. And we can also measure right here, 0 0.42 voltage drop. The job is done. The job is complete. I'm going to give the board to Big Boss to reassemble and test, and I'll be back to finish the video. Let's check on Big Boss and see what's going on. Yes, I see a light right here, and I see a light right in the center. And I do see a backlight, a keyboard backlight. But we want to see an image on the screen. Yes. The laptop is working. Great. Thank you, Big Boss. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video.